to build. I'm Will Best. We're live from London. And look at this. We're joined by Francis Bull and Jamie Lang. Yeah. Wow. Um, now, if you have any questions for the lads, then get them in on Twitter at Build Series London. And if you're watching on Facebook, you can pop them in the box below and I'll put them to the boys. But guys. Hi. Hey. How hey. are you? Good. I thought you, I thought you meant you could pop us in the... In the box yeah. below, so you can yeah, yeah, yeah. be popped in the box below. Yeah, you guys more jokes be... like this on the it's... on the tour. Yeah. It is so. It is a comedy podcast. Yeah. Oh, got it is funny. Confirmation. It is that. funny. They, they um, are a bit better than that. Well, look. I think first things first. We uh, should probably find out a little bit about your private parts. Yeah. Mm. Um, the podcast. Mm -hmm. What you don't That's... already know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well. Well, I think. Well, so uh, yeah. So I suppose we're doing a doing a kick it off. Yeah, you go. You sure? Yeah. You seem, okay, I'll take seem it. keen. Yeah. Um, so France and I have obviously been friends for years. We've lived with each other for uh, you know five of those years or three. Do we live together three years? Yeah, probably three or four. Yeah. Three years, and uh, we have so many stories. We felt like a lot longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we have so many stories, we kind of made each other laugh a lot of the time. And so we decided that we wanted to do a podcast. We wanted to bottle that up and sell it. It's exactly, it's the classic <laughs> thing, isn't it? Everyone thinks that they're the funniest people yeah, yeah. in their group of mates. But we generally are the funniest. You actually yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, and so we decided that uh, we want to do a podcast. So we were in the south of France together and we went into a closet and we started recording. Yeah, you want to make a joke? Go on. What? No, no. Go on, no, I can sense it. He's left no, no, no. it for you. This is the double act. You had just been in the closet. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, okay, I get it. And, um, <laughs> and we decided to do this podcast and we recorded it. And from there, we started doing all these different episodes. And the sort of format well, that was a chat between me and him with a special guest every single week. And, and for the first year, no one listened to it. No. Well, well I think they did. Well, yeah, a few people did. But nowhere near the amount of people. We, did, we weren't. Our trajectory has very much. Uh, it's been, been exponential, that, yeah. It's, right. been, it's, been, it's been a sort of bell, you know, not a bell curve. <laughs> yeah. It's been yeah. a curve. It's, it's been, been a, it's been a, a hockey stick. What a bell a curve is. Yeah. 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 But the, for the yeah. first episode, you had some other people in the closet with you, didn't you? Because uh, you, can, you can hear a little bit of what I thought at first was canned laughter yeah. at the start uh, of the... We spoke yeah. about this canned laughter. Yeah. We did, we decided, and, and the sort of format changed throughout. And can clap occasionally, yeah. But no one wants can clap. Can uh, <laughs> you don't want that. Um, and <laughs> and uh, we, so we did this whole thing, and then it kind of gained popularity. And we decided that we want to do is take this on the road. And what everyone thinks is that it's a it's a live podcast. It's not a live podcast. What we do is we've written a show with all of our stories that we have. We put them together, all of our stories from the podcast over the seventy seven episodes that we've done. Yeah. Put it together in a show, and it's a, as Francis likes to say. Yeah, you can tear it up, go on, go on. knock oh, it out the park. Well, I, I don't know what you're you're, you're <laughs> tearing out for, but well, we meant but, to be but, like a but, double. But, act. You know, we've been we, we we've been working on it, and you know, it was originally it was you know a, a laugh every two minutes, but now it is after the Edinburgh. I can safely say it's a laugh a minute. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. <laughs> a laugh, a laugh a minute. Well, we've been going for three minutes, and I've definitely laughed at least three times. So well, there's you're, there's seven. You're on track. There's 72 hours of uh, content in our. Body of work, wow! And available for you to listen to on iTunes. And also, also, Francis is extremely happy because he gets to hang out with his best friend every day. That's and that's who's that? <laughs> you know who it is. Our so, tour manager. <laughs> you get to hang out with me every day. Your best friend. So. Uh, I'm your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, should, should we have a little look at the sort of trailer? Yeah, let's do to, it. The, we, this is designed to it. entice people. I haven't actually seen this yeah. to private parts live. Here it is. That got Very me excited. Cinematic. Yeah. yeah. That's Stay, staying true to its name. Private yeah. Parts, yeah. We just we just wanted to make a trailer for ourselves. I mean, that's got nothing to do with the show. We just wanted to make <laughs> a trailer. No, it is, and it's what it is is where it, everything within the show is true. It's very fast paced. Uh, there everything. Is, uh, you know, it's hazy, some of the stories. Um, but it is very much, and it's all those kind of, we all have skeletons. And what Francis and I, how Private Parts started is that when, when we do interviews like this, right, that, you know, if you have some sort of profile or whatever, everyone is so cagey about what they talk about. You know, we've all done things at the universe. We've all... Everyone's too guarded <laughs> and inauthentic. And, and so Private Parts is about revealing everything that we've all done and, and just revealing it in, in a way, you know, we've all... Done stupid things. We've all got to get it out in the open. Get it out in the open. So this is what it's, it's about: is about getting all of those stories that France and I have out into the open um, in sort of a humorous way. Yeah. But the, the interesting thing about what you guys do is that you're not just getting your own 
dirty secrets out into the open. You're doing it for all the people that you know as well. Oh, yeah. Again, yeah. episode one. I have listened to more than just one episode, by the way. Um, you tell a story about your ex-girlfriend doing a shit in the street. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so that is true. That's that quite is... a punchy... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Frankie that Gaff. That Frankie <laughs> Gaff had quite the, the gaff. I mean, that is that is that is true. Yeah, that was one of the stories we do. There's a lot of stories. A, a ex girlfriend. Ex girlfriend. So yeah. I mean, is that one that, of the that was contributing one of the, factors? That's not actually in the show, but we have like stories. in Chelsea actually. Yeah, no of all places. But you know, there are stories of not that it's okay to do that anywhere else. <laughs> But there are, you know, there are stories, you know, if we give you one, of the, you know, the, the, yeah, we talk about all things. Like I once went and did, I was in, I was in the Amazon and I thought it would be a good idea. I met this guy called Johnny Cash, who wasn't actually Johnny Cash, but he named himself. <laughs> and that's probably the start of it. Like, okay, it's probably not good there. And he said, do you want to go and do ayahuasca? And oh, this yeah. ayahuasca is this sort of cactus drink and it's meant to be, I don't know. That makes it sound like a kind of nice, healthy yeah, yeah, yeah. It, down Do there. not do it. It's, do yeah. not do it. And so I went and did this thing and, uh, and, you know, the, the, the experience I had, I started hallucinating and I thought I was a truffle pig for <laughs> for nine hours. So even in the hallucinating, I still think I'm posh. I'm still looking <laughs> for truffles. Yeah, so wow. all these kind of stories are what come out. Yeah, It's really nice. Is and that why you snort in your sleep? Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a pig. No, actually pigs, pigs are one of my favourite animals. They're very you know? intelligent. And they're very clean and they orgasm for 30 minutes. Well, who that is, that is, yeah, they do. You guys do love facts. Yeah, yeah. I was going to come on to this later, but you've, it you've set it up. Because, so, the, the podcast is, is, is quite loose, yeah. in a way. I mean, some of your loose. guests have, it's very loose, very loose. Some of your guests have said, you know, what is the format kind of thing. And you basically get people on. Like Matt Horn, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> the podcast with no format. You get people on, you have a chat. You then, in the second half, you'll read out bits of your diaries and just, yep. you know, who's done a shit where in the last week. That exactly. Kind of stuff. But um, you do have a couple of features. Like you do, you're, you're into facts, Jamie. You'll often yeah. just, just blurt out facts. facts. Well. And you have question of the week. Yeah. Yes. So what is, what is your favourite fact at the moment? Um, so we, we do. So we have, there is a sort of rough... It's, it's very loose format because I think just, you know, I think we spend most of our time just looking at our phones and I think the best way to communicate is like chatting to people. I think that's what's so good, right? And so it's about just a loose conversation in a sense. But we do do facts. And so my fact of the moment... Um, do you know, I, this is actually an interesting fact because we were in Edinburgh. Um, Edinburgh is being reserved. So it's, it's, it's got all of its buildings. Preserved, I think so. Okay, it's been preserved. Um, <laughs> yeah, and reserve. You can't actually go. Can't in. reserve it. Yeah, can't Just reserve it. Until 9:30, and then they're gonna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fully booked. Um, but it's been preserved with all the buildings and that. And the reason why that's happened, this is so true, is because Hitler loved it so much. When he took over Europe, he wanted to live there, so he said, "No one's allowed to bomb it." And that's why. It's oh, been, I see what you mean. Yeah, it wasn't bombed. It for was that never reason. bombed. Yeah. It had it had a had a safety net right. over it. Almost. And it still hasn't. And been it bombed still since. hasn't been bombed since. Well, he liked so, uh, Hitler did something right. Yeah. Hitler did something well, right. no, he 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 liked the sort of Parisian architecture, draw style yeah. in the Georgian. Buildings. Lovely. That's that's a very Francis interjection. Well, but you know, so the, about this fact thing, it's quite interesting because if you listen to the early podcasts, Jamie didn't actually give any facts, but then after, I think he realized, God, Francis has got this question of the week with all the facts. Yeah. I need to start r r learning some facts, yeah, <laughs> yeah. bringing some facts to the table. The other, the other fact I heard the other day is why, um, See, here we go uh, why, it's true, why, um, why, why is it called uh, up to scratch? Do you know why you say up to I, scratch? I heard, I've heard this. This one is a good one. So it's called up to scratch because when you used to box each other, you used to draw a line on the ground and the line was called scratch. And you used to put your foot on the line, you used to box each other. And when someone knocked down, they could either get, stay down and that means they'd lose or they could get back up and they would say, are you getting back up to scratch? So put your foot on the scratch. That's why it's right. called, are you up to scratch? Not up to scratch. Not scratching. Right. No, there's no scratching. See, that's a good fact. That's a good yeah. fact. Yeah. Um, Got another I, one. I learned, I learned something the other day. And I don't, this blew my mind uh -huh. in a way that no fact, ha I mean, I don't even know if it's really a fact, but so, you know, Brussels sprouts? Mm -hmm. Yes. They're called Brussels sprouts. Oh, yeah, sprouts. Bru Brussels sprouts, yeah. No, they're not. Exactly. Yeah, they are. Uh, every time you see them written down on menus no. and stuff, Brussels sprouts, it's actually capital B, has to be a capital it's B. It's Brussels, Brussels. Yeah, Brussels sprouts. sprouts. Did you not know that? As in from Brussels. What? I know. <laughs> That is mind blown. It, 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 I mean, obviously, Francis already knew this. I knew this. Already. If you but if you want to make Brussels sprouts Brussels sprouts taste good, 
add cream, a little bit of bacon, and a little bit of sugar. There we go. Fry those things up. Oh, they taste good. That's getting a round of applause. Yeah. They're good, right? It's delicious. And chestnuts. Oh, actually, you've got to have chestnuts. And chestnuts. Get those in there. Get those roasting. Brilliant Ketchup, stuff. Whatever you want, chuck it in. Yeah. Well, yeah. Look, while we're on features mm -hmm. from your podcast, um, question of the day. I've got a question of the day for you. Okay. Uh, oh no, question of the week you do. Mm -hmm. I question of the week. Question of the day is... We it's, get... well, you're setting the bar lower, aren't yeah, you? It's, like, exactly. it's the best one today. There might be a better one tomorrow. Um, okay. You, you get a bonus point if you get the exact date right. But rank these reality shows in order of when they first broadcast in the UK. All right? Okay. Made in Chelsea, mm -hmm. MC, Love Island, mm -hmm. or Geordie Shaw. Put them in order. I can't, which, I've got this. Play along in your heads. I've got this. Which, so in, in order of which... Well, what started it, first? Which started first. Okay, yeah. so... So it'd be Love Island, Geordie Shaw, Made in Chelsea. You've got Love Island, Geordie Shaw, Made in Chelsea. I would say that as is... As first to last. As the first, that first yeah. one that aired. I think that maybe... Knows I it. know, I think... It's a hubbub. People are I think that this. it is... Um, I think it's Love Island, Made in Chelsea, Geordie Shaw. Okay. And, and I think and do you, do you, Love, Island, Love Island first aired, I think, in 2007 or something like okay. that. Okay. And then when... And, and then, then Made in Chelsea was 2011. Right. And then Geordie Shore, I think, was 2012. Well, Francis is correct. Francis what? is the winner of that. Um, look it how, was actually... Look, look how smug he is. Look how smug he is. He is, yeah. He is. So smug. He's not surprised, though. That's the face of a man who gets everything right. <laughs> um, he, yeah, you're right. Made in Chelsea. So, Love Island, the original first two series, it was 2005 and 6. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, Made in Chelsea, 9th of May, 2011. Geordie Shore, two weeks later, on the 24th really? of May, 2000. Oh. Gutted. Gutted. That's They'd so annoying. Just slower edit. Ah. That's MTV for you. Um, good stuff, though. Well done. Well done. Um, I've just had a question uh, mm -hmm. through on social from Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Oh, Lucy Hello, Watson. Lucy. Hi, Hello. Lucy Watson. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, is it? Is it? Well, it's, so she says, uh, what's your favourite and least favourite thing about working with each other? Here's Lucy Watson trying to mm. drive a wedge. Okay, what is yeah, it? Yeah, that is What's your question. What's your favourite thing about working with me? Start with um, what is my favorite thing about? You're only allowed to pick one thing. So. Um, <laughs> stealing your Instagram followers. So you got more. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Is that it? And what's your worst thing about working with me? Um, the worst thing is, hmm, you're always late. <laughs> I'm never late. He was here about 20 minutes before yeah, you today. Yeah, I'm never late. <laughs> so yeah. today was the exception to the right. rule. Right. Do you know what? My favorite thing with Francis, and I, he's probably going to say the same, is that we are, you know, super close friends. Really, really. <laughs> that sounded quite <laughs> romantic, didn't it? Yeah. But we are. We're best of friends. And to hang out with your buddy and go on tour and do this show together and having it, written it, directed it, done everything ourselves, um, mm. it's pretty freaking cool to that's kind of awesome. do that with each other. And that's what's probably the best thing. That is that's probably, really yeah. We're, that we was actually, quite sweet. Do you know that's what? Do you know, do you know what? We actually do um, get on really well. And I guess that's why the podcast works is because we just, you know, it just recording our friendship and our, our conversation. That's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. That is, that is. Hey, I felt on the spot, so I had to <laughs> yeah, come up with something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you felt, because I said something nice, you thought you had to retaliate with yeah. something nice. He doesn't even mean it. No, he doesn't, he doesn't mean, outside no. he's going to go, he's going to like, because I didn't even mean that. <laughs> just doing it. So let's talk a bit about the tour. Okay. Um, it's pretty impressive. So it's a world tour, but at the moment it's only taking the UK part of the world. Yeah. That is it. Yeah. And, but that's and, okay. And mostly in England at the moment. <laughs> yes, sorry, right. Yeah. yeah. Although yeah. you have done a foray up into Scotland, but we in 2022 20, dates, some of the venues you're playing in, I've got the word grand in the title. Mm. Mm. That must mean that they are even bigger than this. Yeah, that's true. I think, I think. And you're quite grand, aren't you? <laughs> so I think that um, that is it. You know, we are going to take it on a world tour at some point, but we don't know when yet. But at some point, we'll take it on a world tour. But we are. We're doing 22 dates around the country. Um, and they're anything from sort of 500 seater to 1,000 seater, which is it's a lot of people. And, and, you know, if it goes well, which so far, you know, it is, maybe we'll add on some more dates. In fact, we actually have another date, which we've added, because we sold out of the Clapham Grand on the 8th of November. 
we've we've put another date in the diary in the seventh. It's the night, the night before. I'm pointing to all of <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You guys better be there if you're not. If you haven't bought your tickets already, have you guys bought tickets? Yes, look, all of them. Yeah, wow, yeah, wow. yeah. That's, the, the That's very amazing. nodding silently. Yeah. But um, um, so so yeah. So if you if you if you are based in London and you want to see us uh, and you didn't get tickets to Clapham Grand, you can get them for the seventh. But the but get sort them of the, now while they're hot. Francis like Francis and I both did sort of uh, theatre at school, and I went to Leeds University, and then you did interpretive dance <laughs> at Leeds. <laughs> I, I my well, how, I went to Leeds University. My freshers' week lasted three and a half weeks. When it's meant to last three and a half years, years. Half years. <laughs> yeah, half years. And so when I enrolled in my theatre performance, you know, everything had been taken up, so I had to do contemporary dance. Did you actually? I thought that was a joke. No, I had to do. You contemporary. actually did do contemporary dance. You did contemporary dance. I didn't. I've interviewed you before and I did not know this. Yeah, because I kind of keep it hidden. Uh, but now, but now, hey, it's out there. Yeah, it's in um, my diary. It's in my diary. So Maybe, we, I mean, do you want me, I, well, I obviously I have to now. I, it would be remiss of me not to at least try to get you to do. Well, we had, I can tell, we had one thing where we had to do our end of term uh, piece. Yeah. And there were about, I think there were about 60 or 70 people in my year and all of them were girls and I was the only guy. And That's, oh, now we no, no, see you the you think you think it was, you think it was, it really was quite tricky because none of them liked me. And <laughs> um, we had to, so I was, because of the only guy, I had to be, we had to do this whole flower sequence and all of the, all of the girls were the petals. So they were all the petals above like that. And I was the guy and I had to hide in this. Were you the, the I was stamen? The, I was the, the bulb, the, the hymen, the, the hymen, the, no, is that no, not no, it? No, no, that's something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> the hymen. What kind of flower? How was this? <laughs> yeah, I Francis, was, give us what's a fact about a hymen? No. Yeah, I was I was the bulb. I was the bulb within it, and and I remember sitting in all these arms around me. There's about you know twelve of them above me, and I thought, and all I could hear was my friends in the front row just laughing. And as I came out, they all opened up and they went, oh, and went, and over the thing went summertime, and I went. <laughs> Anyway. This was your final piece. And, it's yeah, very my good. final piece. It's very good. And I just remember thinking, God, this is death. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that's quite, in a way, that's kind of setting you up to being able to, like, yeah. you know, get the more embarrassing parts of your life out there in front of people. Yeah, I think that's so the idea. It's work to treat. I think that's the idea. You know, Francis and I, you know, it's very much, also, Francis and I are very much yin to the yang. You know, I'm so very much one way and Francis is very much the other way. So Francis is probably a little bit more reserved. <laughs> Which which way is which? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which way which way are you? <laughs> I'm straight. I'm the straight one. <laughs> <laughs> he's gay, no, and uh, you know he's a bit more reserved with his stories and things like that. But um, we're pretty truthful, and it is honest. Mm. And we're honest, and generally, you know, we did it in Edinburgh. We did it for three nights, yeah. as you're probably yeah. you know, you can say. And um, and people thoroughly enjoyed it, which was really exciting. And so standing there on stage and seeing people, people enjoy rated it at ten out of ten as they're coming out. Ten on ten. Ten out of ten. Some per some people said eleven out of ten. That's impossible. and uh, they had a camera on them. They had yeah. to, they're not going to say it was <laughs> crap, were they? Oh, you were filming people. We were, yeah, filming yeah, filming people. Right, okay. no, no, like, were you holding the camera? <laughs> yeah, Francis was talking to them. Basically, <laughs> a lot of satisfied customers. Yeah. Customers, <laughs> spectators. Francis what, always what satisfies his customers. Audience, Audi right. a, a lot of satisfied audiences. Yeah. yeah. Well, you did, you did. So, how nervous were you about Edinburgh? Because obviously, you know, Edinburgh Festival the home of, of comedy, the greatest mm. comics in the world coming together in front of the most That's discerning very kind of you. audiences. <laughs> and you two. I think, I think that, was, that was it. And sorry to keep talking about us. But, the, um, <laughs> but it, it was... You should be apologising to them. <laughs> sorry. It was very much... I think what we wanted to do was we wanted to throw ourselves in the deep end. And what better place to do it than Edinburgh Festival, which France and I... France was at Edinburgh University. I've been to Edinburgh many times. I've been to the festival before. And it was just this amazing... It's just... If you guys have ever been, or, or you haven't been, sorry, go. Because it's... And well, we were talking about it. Mm. The hustle and the vibe there is just amazing. Because yeah. everyone is there putting their own kind of show on. Mm. And they are so proud of it. And we took our show up there and we, you know, we practiced in rooms with each other. We hadn't had an audience. We had an audience smaller than this once. And we can give a little insight to what happens. You know, you see this video, that what happens at the beginning. And, and on one of the- Don't give it away. Well, I so you, you run in- I, So this occasion cheat. I ran in, no, naked. I ran in completely- Fully, fully, fully nude. Fully nude and I ran and I, so I run in naked and I run on the stairs and that I get to the front. And I get to the front and I'm holding oh, things. So in front of 420 people. And I went, oh God, I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, I'm oh, so sorry I'm late. And Francis, Francis Francis's mic suddenly went boom like that and broke. So I was there when, I'm, oh God, what was that? And Francis, instead of just being a bit like, oh my God, like, you know, God, ha ha, my mic's broken, he literally went, oh, my mic's broken. <laughs> so, so I was standing there naked, I went, we'll, we'll do something about it. <laughs> and, and he went, so for about 
I mean, it must have been about 10 minutes. He was going, well, what do I do? What do I do? And I went, oh, my God, I'm saying naked in front of everyone. And so, so well, I think it's also probably, um, you know, relevant to say that, you know, we had, like you say, only performed it in front of a very small group of our, you know, you know agents and, produ you know, like, you know, the people involved in, 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 in the production. And uh, before we, we went out, we'd been working on it for a while, but we, we'd kind of been practicing in a vacuum of feedback. So the first performance was effectively the dr dress rehearsal. Wow. Uh, and so we had no idea whether actually, we thought, we thought it was funny, we had no idea whether it was actually funny. So we got to sort of live road test it, and it was uh, extremely nerve-wracking. I mean, uh, Jamie came up to me before the first performance, and he's like, he, he was like white as a sheet. And he's like, I'm a bit worried because actually a lot of this stuff can be potentially quite damaging. Because <laughs> we talk about a lot of things and suddenly I was about to go on stage and I was like, God, I'm talking about a lot of things that actually people might just really take offense to. <laughs> <laughs> and the best thing was we, so we sit like this, it's a big stage and we sit like this next to each other and we're talking and it's very sort of like that. And, and because it's a show, we've written this whole thing and it's very natural and it's not kind of stage, but there is a point where occasionally Francis and I have to say things which lead us into the next section. So it's our very first night doing it. And the, uh, there's something where the line is something like, uh, France, I say to Francis, oh, you have oh I don't you have a Google alert on yourself or something like that. Just giving the whole show. Yeah. No, I'm just saying this, this one bit. It's a free preview. This is and Francis and France and I were sitting like this, and suddenly we turned to each other and we realised that we've forgotten what comes next. So it's our first show, and we're looking at each other, and we both literally looking at them and we both go <laughs> like this. You know, so we didn't know what was happening. And Francis, 420 people. And Francis turns to me down. and says. You've forgotten your line, haven't you? And I went, no, I haven't. <laughs> so we sat like this, and the only thing in my head, I was freaking out, I didn't know what to say. The only thing I thought I should do, I said, right. I went, don't worry, everyone, I'll go and check the script. So I went like this, I kid you not, I, panicking in my You're head. You're still naked at this so, point. No, I'm now fully clothed. I went behind the sofa like this. And pretended, and pretended to check pretended a, to look a, a, amazing. an imaginary and then, script. And when I was down there, I thought, what am I doing? There's no script here. <laughs> <laughs> not only have I pretended to the audience, I'm looking at a script You're to ruin the whole thing. I'm not actually looking at one. So then I went back round here and, went, and sat down next to France and went, I went, ah, with no kind of reference, went, you have a Google alert on yourself, don't you? And Francis went, no, I don't. <laughs> so, so we were then even more stuff, but finally we got back in. But that's the joys of Edinburgh Amazing. and being on stage. Yeah, you know? and I'm sure everybody would have just thought that was part of the show. They did, actually. I think they, they, they quite yeah. enjoyed it. But, it. but it was really, um, you know, going back to what I was saying, it was a real buzz, actually, to... to, to Try these, you know, to perform these uh, this show, and to have such a positive mm. response. I mean, it really was. I, I, you know, you maybe thought I was joking, but it really is a laugh a minute. Yeah. And uh, and and it, there was at least a laugh every well, minute. Well, look, I think I think sadly, we've that's that's all we've got time for here. Oh. Oh, well, we'll, but oh. can we just have one more laugh just to keep the numbers up so they can? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh they're loving, they're yes. loving it. They're absolutely <laughs> loving it. Absolutely loving it. But listen, guys, thank you so much thank for um, thank coming and, and talking to us about it. I mean, I think we can all tell from that you've got a great dynamic, a great rapport, and it is, I'm sure, a brilliant show. So tickets are on sale now for private parts, the tour. But ladies and gentlemen, Jamie and Francis. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you, guys. Thank you. See you Thanks there. Thanks so much, guys.